Hey guys, welcome back to Maisel Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be talking about all the tools you need to pull the perfect shot on your Breville Barista Touch. Guys, it's always good to have you guys here. Welcome back. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about my Breville Barista Touch. So you guys know I have a Breville Barista Touch. Her name is Brie. And I also have my Nespresso uh, Virtuo and my Creatista. This year, I'd really like to focus on Brie and pulling more shots with her. It's still a work in progress, to be honest. I've had her for a year now. But I will say, these are the tools that have made it easier easier for me to pull shots with her. So let's get started. So theoretically speaking, your Breville Barista Touch is going to come with everything that you need already. It comes with a tamp, it comes with a milk pitcher, it comes with a porta filter. It has everything that you need to pull a basic shot, right? However, do you want a basic shot or do you want something really yummy and defined by you? In order to do that, you're going to need some additional tools. I have leaned heavy on the brand Crema because they seem to have everything you would need for a Breville Barista Touch. However, you can explore other brands. I actually got something from Normcore that I'm going to share with you guys. But not only that, if you have a Breville Barista Touch or really any of the Breville um, espresso machines, including like the Bambino, the Express, the Breville Barista Pro, these tools for the most part are going to work for all of those. In no particular order, here we go. Now guys, I find that you're gonna need a scale, right? This is a scale. And everything that you guys see here, you can find it in my Amazon store. Um, I got this scale maybe for about 40 or $50. It's really easy to use and it does everything that you need it to. I know that there's that fancy scale um, from Blue Bottle, but it's like two or $300 and I just wasn't ready for that yet. So I went with this and it's proven to be really good. Um, it does everything that you're gonna need it to. So there's a timer. Um, of course, it measures your beans. Um, the number one step to having a great extraction is how much beans that you'll be using so for me i know a lot of people use 18 grams i use 19.2 i don't know why 19.2 but it gives me the same extraction every single time right pulling espresso shots can include a lot of math so you're gonna need a skill for exact measurements and then also when you're done measuring out your 19 grams or 18 whatever you choose you're gonna put this under the machine and you're gonna catch the espresso and hopefully you're getting like 38 to 40 grams of liquid out which is also important so a scale is necessary now the next thing that I use is my dosing cup. This dosing cup is from Crema. Um, usually what I do is I grab my scale, I put my dosing cup on it like this, and this is what I use to measure out the 19 grams. And so when I'm done grabbing my 19 grams, I'll take this and I'll dump this into um, the grinder. That way it's less mess. I know exactly how much beans I'm using. And in addition to that, you don't wanna put all of your beans into the grinder at once. I did that in the beginning, but then you're not measuring out exactly how many beans you need each time. So this is gonna be perfect for measuring your beans. Oh yes. And also when I'm done pouring the beans into the grinder, I then take this and I put it, I'm going to insert clips like B-rolls of all this for you guys, but I'll take um, this, put it on the actual machine and catch the ground beans in it. So you've measured your beans, you've grind them. What do we do next? What do we need? I got a new porta filter. So it's also from Crema. I really love the wooden handle. It's very easy to take apart if you want to clean it. So you can do like so and take it off, wash this part, put it back on. But this is going to be a bottomless porta filter. So the bottomless porta filter, it's going to give you a nice even shot every single time, opposed to you getting your shots coming out of the two like sides that the porta filter that comes with the machine does it's bottomless so it goes out of the bottom so i'm currently on crema's website and they say that this bottomless porta filter is designed to work with the breville express barista express impress barista pro touch bambino bambino plus infuser and dual temp pro so you can use this for practically most of the um 
espresso machines that are out there today and then they also say of course that it's an essential tool for identifying and correcting extraction problems so it really just helps you get a nice smooth extraction one that you wouldn't get with the portafilter that the machine comes with now so once i put my beans in here i will put this little funnel on top I like this funnel because I was finding that once I just put the coffee in here and I did what I needed to do, I would have coffee spilling out everywhere. So this is gonna help keep everything in place and help you not spill your ground. So so usually this is the part that I'm gonna use my W my WDT tool. So when I'm using this, if I don't have um a funnel in place a lot of my grinds would fall off. So this is a really good way to keep your coffee in place, right? So like that. Now, speaking of the WDT tool, this is probably one of my favorite tools and probably one of the things I think is most necessary for making my espresso. So the WD2 tool is meant to shift through your coffee, take out any clumps and things like that so you have a smoother extraction. I had a random one that I just picked up from Amazon and I absolutely hated it. Like I didn't think that I could tell even though I wasn't a pro that it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. And then once I got this one from Crema, so this is what it looks like absolutely amazing like it shifts through my grounds really nicely if i can recommend any of these tools that i'm sharing with you guys today this would be the one so yeah after this step you're gonna go ahead and you're shifting through right getting all the clumps out and then usually that's where i'll take these two off well not really in this state i'll still go like this like i'll hit it to even out the, the grounds and this funnel is still keeping everything in place then i'll remove these two and then we're on to the next tool guys this is a tamper distribution combo um absolutely necessary this has really changed the game for me in pulling a really nice shot um once you've got your beans in here the first thing that you're gonna do is evenly distribute it so if you guys see there's like a nice jagged side here right this is the side this is the side that I used to put it in my basket like so like that and when you do that it completely completely evens out your grounds right and then after that there is a tamp side that's nice and smooth you guys can see my lights in the way and then you'll take the tamp side and on your countertop you're going to press down to compress the grounds right for a nice extraction i have found this to be very helpful both sides it's great to have a two-in-one so i really love this tool and i highly highly recommend it however i don't know i've been on the gram and i've been seeing everybody with this really cool tamp and so it actually just came in today i'll share it with you guys so guys this is the tamp i'm talking about it's from norm core this is what it looks like and this tamp is supposed to take all of the guesswork out of tamping it comes with a spring on the inside it actually comes with three springs um i think one's like um for 15 pounds maybe 25 and 30 correct me if i'm wrong but that's the amount of weight that it's going to give to your coffee and everybody loves this tool because they say two things it's consistent so if you want 15 pound weight on your coffee compression it's going to do that every single time or if you want 25 or 30 right there's no guesswork in it so yes with this guy you're supposed to get the same pressure every single time my question about it though because i've only used it two times so far is does all of that actually help with better extraction and everybody says that it does it helps your coffee taste better i don't know the science behind it i do actually want to read up on it so um this one you guys can try at your own risk um but from what i hear from my coffee community on instagram a lot of my coffee girls have this already and they really like it so again it's going to give you nice even pressure every single time now guys the last thing i'm going to suggest is this puck screen this is what mine looks like it actually ended up in the um what do you call it the little grinder in the sink and so it's a little distorted but um yeah this one's in my amazon store it's reusable so you can use it over and over and over again i just wash it after use 
The point of the puck screen, guys, is to protect your machine. So in the Amazon description, it says that this espresso puck screen helps prevent coffee grounds from sticking to the espresso machine shower screen, keeping the shower screen clean. So to give you guys an idea, once you have your coffee in here, everything's ready to go, you're ready to extract, you take this and you put it up top right there, right? It separates the grounds from your machine so you don't have to worry about the grounds getting stuck in your machine and getting it dirty it's the sole purpose of this but i found it to be helpful guys i think that's it that's pretty much everything that i use to pull a great shot and as you guys can see the things that the machine comes with really are just not comparable. Um, you guys can find all of these items pretty much on my Amazon storefront, which I'll link it down below for you guys. And you guys can also find a lot of these products from Crema Coffee, which I quite enjoy. They're pretty innovative. It's a small business and they keep coming out with pretty sick products for my Breville Barista Touch Brie, which I love. So guys, yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. Um, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what do you think about all of these products? Do you use them already? Do you find some of them to be useless? Which ones work best for you? Guys, as always, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly and I'll see you guys next time.